slight one. Here's Zach Randolph. Zebo, as he is known, drills a shot. Well, Matt, in that first meeting between these two teams, the Clippers shot the ball extremely poorly. They shot around 32% for the game. They're not that bad a shooting team, so look for the Raptors to really be aware of that. The Clippers getting up to good start with Randolph knocking down his first. Bosco's shot doesn't go. Marcus Camby came over from Denver where he was a defensive player of the year. His length certainly a factor now, 35 years of age, and Zach Randolph knocks down another open look. Able to handle him. Here's Jose Calderon. Bang on. How do you get that shot? You look inside, you get the kick out. So many great scoring opportunities present themselves when you look in the paint first. Off a big body, you see him trying to get his position down low. He's a guy that hurts you because he can hit that jumper right there, or he can play with his back to the basket. And he is a tough guard. You mentioned Matt that he's not in great shape, but he is still such a presence around the basket that you really have to watch out for him. Jose Calderon being aggressive, that is key. But if you talk to a lot of people around him in those years where the back problems were surfacing, many attributed that to poor conditioning and really not taking care of his body the way he needed to in the offseason and leading up to the season. So he's done a better job in respect to him of doing that. The run out in Marion. All five starters now, Leo, have scored for the Raptors in a seven-point advantage, and the Clippers have stalled. Well, the Clippers are not a great team in getting back. This isn't a great defensive team, and they really don't want to have to try to run and get back. Right now, the Raptors are generating some points off of their deep. Jose Calderon leaving it for CP4. Gotta love that. Jose throwing it up there, and CB just taking it down. Jose Calderon along with Parker Capono, Bosch, and Marion. And Bosch, he's matched up with Kane, and he's got to attack. He's got to use his legs and, and just attack a guy that's not that quick laterally. But that's a pretty good answer right there. Sean Marion involved in this game early, something we really haven't seen a lot of, Matt. Parker with the steal. Ahead to Jose. And what a way to start the third quarter. A great effort just slicing through the screen and knocking that ball away and then doing a great job of finding his teammate, Jose Calderon, in transition. But those are the type of plays you need to really maintain this intensity at a defensive end. And how about that? A jumper to add to it. At home, do you foresee a scenario like last year where Boston was taken to seven games by Atlanta as Bosch puts it up and through? CB4 focused here on this day. Randolph on Bosch. Kamen's on the floor guarding Vosco. They get to be family members. Vosco and Chris Kamen. As Randolph comes down with it. This ad a pass picked off. Jose called the roll with the slam. With the Jose. Slam. When's the last time you said that? <laughs> When's the last time you saw that? Exactly. A re I, I honestly don't remember. Seeing Calderon. Liberty's got down. a little bit of a, just a tad smile over at the bench, and I can do this. <laughs> Bosch up top, came and picks him up. Here's Marion. Marion, oh, great oh, pass. Great look. CB4 with 16. The one hander off the dribble, just a, a bullet pass, perfectly placed to Bosch. 75 54. Slight differential, game clock, shot clock. Here's Roku Ukic driving, one-handed floater. No, Mary taps it up. No, but there's Big Daddy Pops. On the offensive glass, Marion keeping it alive, and Pops getting in there and saying, hey, I'll, I'll take care of it, Sean. Good job. Yeah, I have been through an experience like that with Philadelphia. They have to take care of the bags. And uh, also, what you never want to do is go to a buffet or a training table with your team. And get there early because all you're going to do is get food for the rest of your team before you can ever sit down and have a meal so you're better off showing up late and hopefully most of those guys are finished davis crossover in the lane gives it up extra pass here's gordon the three and it pops around and mensa bantu comes down with it gordon is just two of eight so the backcourt a combined five uh, 22 for just 19 points and reasons why they just have not been equipped to handle 
the Raptors here on this day. And this is a lengthy road trip for Mike Dunleavy and his Clipper team as Joey Graham drills it. Even Andre is cheering. He wants 100. Did they get it? They got it. Free pizza. <laughs> Here's Rocco. Sends it to Patrick O'Brien. He's going to spot up, take a three. Shot doesn't go. O'Brien getting his money's worth. Yeah. Five shots in five minutes. The Raptors are going to win their 14th at home and improve to 25 and 45. And Pops Mensabonsu gets another rebound. So active coming off of the bench. But it started with a boss in that double double. Marion with a double double. Jose so aggressive. So happy.